well, 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 well. Good morning. I know it's a minute early, but I'm just popping on just to see if I have any early birds with me today on this Friday morning. Fun Friday. Lovely day in New England. Uh, although it's going to get yucky tomorrow, apparently. <clears throat> Lots of rain, I guess. But at least no snow. I know. I shouldn't probably say that because I know I have skiers and skaters in the group. But, you know, I don't like ice anymore. And uh, I don't like the real, real cold. But it's okay. It's fine. I like, you know, whatever. So I have three projects today. We're just going to wait until it's 10 o'clock and see if anybody is going to join me and pop in and say hello so I know you're with me. Um... What else? Oh, we got a new bird bath because our old bath. Good morning, Paula. Yes, thank God it is Friday. Good morning to you. Um, we got a new bird bath, and Jack just installed it on our deck, so we're waiting to see if the critters are going to come. I literally don't mean the critters. They'll, the critters will come. It's the birds we're looking for, but um, our other one died. We had it for a very long time, and uh, what can I say? Okay, it is 10 o'clock, so I am going to start. Welcome again, everybody, whoever is, is out there. Well, this morning, let me just show you. I have three. Hi, Jean, from very, very cold upper Maine. Welcome aboard. Thanks for popping in. Okay, let me show you what we're going to do today. Now, first of all, this is the first card that we're going to do. Now, I may have done this in the past, but I'm going to do it again because I absolutely love this. I have to make a bunch of these for my sister. Um, she needs some for note cards, generic cards. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining in. So I'm going to show you that one. And then we're going to do this Valentine card. And I'll show you that one. I think it's wicked pretty, wicked. The paper is stunning. And then I'm going to show you how to make... And this little uh, Valentine favor that has the Hershey Kisses inside. So let's get started. So well, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do this card here. This is the one we're going to do first. And I'm just going to, let's see if I can bring that up just a little bit more so you can see. Okay, all right. So having said that, I'm going to show you what we need here. Now the first thing you're going to need is obviously the base card stock, which is the regular 8.5 by 5.5, and, and I've already scored it, and I'm going to fold it on my score mark, and I'm going to use my bone folder for a nice crisp fold. Now the next layer was Misty Moonlight. Now you know me, I like to have things have some, um, some pop and pizzazz to it, so what I did was I took the Dainty Diamonds um, embossing fold and ran this piece of Misty Moonlight through it. Now, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get there. Is that better? Uh, maybe you can see it. Anyway, trust me, it's a real, it's subtle, but it's a really, really pretty um, designer uh, embossing folder. So I'm going to take a little bit of my snail. I've got some snail left over, so I'm trying to use up what I have. Oops, I forgot my uh, silicone pad. Ugh, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Anyway. I'll try to be good. All right, so there, I'm gonna put this on my base card like this, equidistant all the way around. And this piece was five and a quarter by four, like that. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And on this, this size is, um, uh, this is four, let's see, this is, um, this is, oh, I'm glad you like it, three and a quarter by four and a half. Three and a quarter by four and a half. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to make sure that you had a good image of the, the embossing folder. So it just it's a nice little contrast. So then I took the um, stamps from the tray, very Versailles stamp set, which is one that I use a lot. I love this background. It just gives it a nice little bit of extra texture. And I'm going to use Bumblebee ink, which is one of the new in colors for this year, which I love. And I'm going to take my bumblebee and I'm just going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp it right here. It doesn't matter where. Well, it, it, you can stamp it wherever you want, of course, there. <clears throat> then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the Dragonfly Garden stamp set, this one right here. Hi, Sandy. Thank you for joining in from Florida. We've got Maine and Florida and everybody in between. So that's fantastic. Yes, Lisa, I agree with you. I love this folder. Anyway, here's the stamp set that I used, and this is the stamp that I'm going to use. And I'm going to take my Memento ink, and I'm just going to ink this up like such. 
and I'm going to stamp it right here on the left hand side and I'm going to have the stems coming off of the full off of the the paper just a little bit and while I still have see just like that and while I still have ink on this I'm going to take my envelope and I'm going to huff just the bottom part right here and I'm going to stamp here and then I'm going to stamp on the inside of my card just subtle just subtle I love it I just love the way it looks okay so then I'm going to cover this up because you know me and ink I get I'm a messy stamper now the next thing I want to do is I want to do some coloring so I took three of my alcohol markers I took my old olive I took a dark flirty flamingo and I think this one is um, light mango melody and what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to color um, the edge like this of the flowers not all of them you don't have to do all of them you can do whatever you want um, just a little bit just to give it a little bit of color because you know what I'm going to do it's the color isn't going to end there because I have to add some of my famous wink of Stella all right there's that I'm going to do a few of the leaves just a few not all of them can you see this I guess you can yeah um here we go okay like this just just to give it a little bit of extra color a little bit of pizzazz not all of it I think if I did all of it it would look it would be too much so I'm just going to do a few hither and yon like that and maybe this one like that I think that's good then I'm going to take the flirty flamingo and add just a little bit of color at the top the center and maybe just add a little bit of color to the edges here just to just to give it a little bit of extra interest you know how I am about stuff like that there we go okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little dragonfly now what did I, oh here it is so I stamped the dragonfly I popped it out hi Teresa thank you so very very much for joining in and Carol yay I've got so many friends here today I'm so excited everybody's with me so I took the stamp, the dragonfly, stamped it with memento ink, and now I'm going to color it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take back my uh, mango melody, the light mango melody, and I'm just going to color the inside like that. See, I'm not doing it any deliberately and you know in any deliberate fashion. Just a little bit of ink there. And then I'm going to take the flirty flamingo. And uh, yes, I, Very Versailles, Teresa, is a stamp set that I cannot live without. I absolutely cannot live without it. I use it a lot. And it, like I said, these are going to be cards for my sister, Carol, who just popped on. Okay, so I added a little bit of color there. And I think I'm just going to take the um, Mango Melody and just color this just a little bit, blend it. Now, you notice I'm going in one direction. I know demonstrators who go back and forth, but I find that if I go back and forth, I tend to rip the... Hi, Jean! Thank you so much for joining in. Yay! Um, but I, I tend to rip the paper, and it pills up a little bit, and I don't like the way that looks. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do... Uh, it in one direction. I always color in one direction with my wink with my alcohol markers. All right, so there I have that. Now I'm going to take my adhesive and I'm going to put some adhesive on here. Gosh, I wish I knew where my silicone pad was. And that, and then bring the base back in and I'm going to put it right on the base. Look at how simple this is. This is a great card. This can be used for anything. Get well, anniversary, thinking of you, thank you, whatever. And then of course I'm going to take my little dragonfly, pop off the little dimensional pieces like this. Good morning, Helene. Thank you so much and thank you for joining in. And I'm going to put it just like that. And then of course I have to get my winky. Wink of Stella, Wink of Stella. Now, I'm going to Wink of Stella the flowers and just the petals a little bit and maybe a couple of the leaves because then just to add a little bit of glimmer here because I love the way that looks. But then, you know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to take my shimmery crystal effects and give this dragonfly a lot of pizzazz because I, I, because I can. How's that? It, now this does take a while to dry folks so you have to put it set it aside but once it's dried it makes that flirty flamingo a mango melody color 
on the dragonfly um, petals. Just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, like shimmering in the sun. I love it. Like that. There we go. How easy was that? Now, this card did not take any time at all. Now, you could use this template for all kinds of different um, stamp sets that you've got. Just, you know, take a base, then take a piece of colored cardstock, run it through your favorite. Hi, Gail Case. Thank you so much for joining in. Yay. Um, so run it through your favorite embossing folder or get this new dainty um, diamonds folder. It's absolutely gorgeous, subtle but gorgeous. And then use your own stamp set and color it just a little tiny bit, a little wink of Stella, and you can see you can see the shimmer of the shimmery crystal effects on the dragonfly. Okay, so there is that first card. This can be a porch pickup this week. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Moving right along, now we're going to do this absolutely gorgeous valentine card look at that now isn't that elegant i designed this all by myself <laughs> well i'm sure i had some inspiration from some people i don't know but anyway all right so what we're going to do here is i'm going to take a piece of rococo rose cardstock here is the rococo rose i've already got it scored i'm going to fold it and i'm going to use my bone folder to make sure i have a nice crease then the next thing is I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to take a piece of this designer paper. Now this designer paper is stunning. This is the Love You Always specialty designer paper and there are three different colors in it. It's the Rococo Rose, Blushing Bright, and Sahara Sand. Now for porch pickup, unfortunately I only have one package of this left but I'm going to do whatever I have left for the Rococo Rose and then the Blushing Bride and the Sahara Sand. So the template is exactly the same, but the cut, the paper is absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, Caroline, I just saw that you want one of those. Okay, so then I took this. This is the Rococo Rose. Look at that shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive. And don't do as I'm doing, do as I say. We should have my, my silicone pad, but I look for it. I can't see it. And if you could see the other side of this table, you certainly would understand why I can't see it. Anyway, there we go. Put that on like that. How easy is that? And now I'm going to pop it onto the base of the card. You know, design a series paper can really set off the tone of a card. It's the paper, Stampin' Up! paper is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine being the artist who can design all this stuff? I can't because I don't have a, you know, an artistic bone in my body as far as coming up with designs like this. But the colors and the shapes, oh my God, look at how pretty that is. Okay, Paula, got it. All right, so there's the base. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I ran it through the white cardstock and then I ran it through... Um, the I use the uh, floral hot um, dies. Look at these; these are absolutely gorgeous. This is the die that I used for this, and then I use the banner fold as well. This set is absolutely gorgeous. The dies in here are absolutely stunning, just beautiful. Lots of different flowers. You can see these as well. Look at that. So anyway, that's that. So let me show you what I did. Whoops, let me not get this messed up. So I ran it through the hat, and this is how it came out. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the detail on that. It only, not only does it die cut, but it embosses a little bit too. It's got a little bit of a, um, burnishing to it. I love it. So for this, I'm going to take some glue dots I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use my glue dots because you could use Tombow glue. You could use, well, you could use um, your stamp and seal or you could use Tombow glue. But I think the glue dots work just as well because, uh, you know, you don't need to have a ton of these. Um, whoops, that's sticking to me and not to where, there we go. Okay. And my pick-me-up tool, um, one of my friends um, borrowed it. I don't have it back yet but I'll get it back this week. So normally I would use my pick-me-up tool. But there we go. So I've got these on. Now I'm going to take the little papers off very carefully like this. Can you see that? Um, because I don't have manicured nails, it comes off pretty easily. If you've got manicured nails, you definitely need to use the pick-me-up tool because it will. it's so much easier to have that little prickly end to just lift off this piece of protective paper on the glue pot. 
So it just comes off like that. I think we've got oh, one more. And then I'm just going to center it on the, um, on the base of my card like this. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I think this is just so pretty. Like that. There we go. Now, the next thing I did was I took a piece of white cardstock and I cut out, I stamped Be My Valentine in Rococo Rose on the banner. Now, if you look really closely, you can see that there is a score mark. Whoops, wait, wait, wait here. A score mark here and a score mark here. Let me get that so you can see it. Okay. And what you need to do is you need to fold that so it makes the pop-up part of the banner. How cute is that? It's so nice when Stampin' Up! comes up with these great ideas like this. So there is the banner that's popped up. Look at that. See it? Wait a minute. I, gotta, I have to show it. There we go. Now I'm going to turn it this way. See that? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put adhesive on the tips of the banner. There and here. And then I'm going to place it on top of my hat like such. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then, I'm not done yet, not done yet, I am going to take one of the new, um, these are the pastel pearls. Look at how pretty these colors are. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is the um, Highland Heather and Silver and Blushing Bride and uh, what's the other color? Maybe it's Gorgeous Grape, I don't know. But I'm gonna take one of the Blushing Bride ones and I'm gonna pop it on just to give it a little bit extra cuteness. And I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna lift this up. And these have a lot of a sticky on them, I'm finding. So there you go, my friends, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. And then for the inside, what I did for the inside was I simply took the uh, stamp that says, this one says, you are, you are always in my hat. I stamped the inside and then I put little flowers, I mean, little hats on the lower um, right hand side of the card. So there it is. So there's that. And then the envelope, of course, you can't have naked envelopes. So here is the envelope. I stamped hots here. And then, of course, I used a piece of the designer paper for the flap. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay. All right. So there's that. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to make these little cute Hershey Kiss containers. Aren't these adorable? These are so stinky cute. Now, I'm going to give you the dimensions, and I'm going to, uh, you have your choice. Either I will make them for you, I'll do the whole thing for you, or you can get the little kits pretty, you know, pre-ready to be um, assembled. So you just have to let me know what you want. Okay, let's get back over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing is you need a piece of real red cardstock that is eight and a half by two and a half inches, and it's scored at two, uh, three inches and at five and a half three and five and a half, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this on the score lines and you're gonna make sure that you have a nice little fold like this. Are you writing this down? You can write it down. Yes, it would make a great Mother's Day card. It absolutely would. It would make a great birthday card. It, it's just a, a lovely, elegant card that I totally love. All right, so getting back to this, on the bottom section right here, you're gonna put some tear tape because tear tape is super sticky, super strong, and it needs to be adhered to the base of this little favor nice and securely. So there we go. I put four little pieces on like that. Then I took a piece of cardboard. Now this is cardboard that comes with our designer paper. It comes with the six by six paper or the 12 by 12 paper, whatever. I took this and I ran it through using the scallop square die. It's nice and thick and nice and heavy. So that's going to fit right on here in a second. But before I do that, I want to put this little piece of paper on. You see how right here, there's a little piece of designer paper right here on the bottom? So I'm going to put this on with some adhesive like this. And I'm going to put it right on the bottom here, not to overlap the fold part because you don't want that to interfere with the uh, the structure of the 3D box. See, it just goes on this part right here, right there, and then it's going to sit like that very nicely. Okay, so having done that, now what I'm going to do is I am going to take off 
the pieces of um, tear tape, the protective piece over the adhesive, and take that off like that. And again, if you have manicured nails, you've got to use your pick take me up uh, pick me up tool, or your snips will work too. And then I'm just going to fold it so that I can see the designer series paper and I can see this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it equidistant um, from the top to the to the left side to the right side and the um, the bottom just like that. And once I get it so that I know that it's equidistant here, here, and here, I'm just going to press it down like this, open it up and press it down with my fingers and voila, there's my little tent. How stinking cute is that and how fast and easy. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these hots. Now this is from actually... Um, from uh, designer paper from last year, but that's okay. And I'm going to take this piece of Whisper White cardstock, which I ran through the nested um, dies. This is the largest one. I ran it through, and then I scored it at two and a half inches. So I'm gonna fold that, and I'm just gonna fold it gently with my fingers. You don't need to use the bone folder on that, just gently with your fingers. And then I'm gonna take this little hat, and I'm gonna stick it on one of the sections, like this like that actually let's see all right when you fold this in half you'll notice that one half it, when there is a, even though it's five and a quarter inches or whatever it is it's a little bit off but that's okay so the shorter side this side right here see the difference there's this is the front and this is the back i'm going to put this hat on the back just like that okay so there's that now i'm going to decorate the front part right here so I am going to put, first of all, a puddle of snail right here, just two strips. And then I'm going to take some silver thread and I'm gonna take probably about 48 inches of this, just a big bunch of it. And I'm gonna make a figure eight. So I don't know if you can see this on camera here, but I'm taking my um, filament and putting it on my two fingers here and then I'm gonna separate those fingers with my baby finger and ring finger. And I'm just gonna make, wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. Keep wrapping until you can't wrap anymore. Wrap, 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 like a wrapper. Da -da 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 -da. I know, I'm not a good wrapper. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna pinch it in the middle. And then I'm just gonna put it right on top of that snail. See, I just put it on the top of the snail. Then I'm just gonna separate these little pieces just to flare it out a little bit, to give it a little bit of extra little pizzazzola. See, like that. All right, then, then the next thing I'm going to do is I've already cut out some hot, so I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to put it, put some adhesive on this. And this is just gonna go flat down like this. Now I just wanna make sure that I have this filament visible. So I'm gonna put it like that. And then I'm going to take one of these hots. Now there are three that I used from the meant to be um, dies. And I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna put this one on the center of this hot, just like this. And you can do this however you want, it doesn't matter. There's one like that. Then I'm gonna take this one and this was punched out with one of our many hot punches that we have. And again, I wanna make sure that those filaments are spread out so that it looks pretty and I'm going to put that one right there like just like that and then I'm going to take these two little ones and I'm going to put these on with dimensionals there we go and I'm going to pop this out uh, like this and I'm going to put this one on like this I'm going to just kind of bring it down a little bit you can play with this and put it wherever you want like this and then I'm gonna put this one down here. And then I've taken a bow. I made a red a, a bow out of this red satin ribbon. Now, this red satin ribbon is a stiffer ribbon. It's not as soft as some of the um, chiffons that we have and some of the um, other fabric bow, uh, ribbons that we have. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna take a dimensional and I'm gonna cut a dimensional in half. Oops, I just happen to have one here. Cut the regular size dimensional in half and put it on the back of the bow just like that and press it firmly. Take the little piece of um, sticky off and I'm also going to take, 
what did I do with my I'll give that glue dots which I, I do this a lot I take a glue dot and I put it on the front of the bow the ribbon like that and I'll show you why I'm going to do that you you know why I'm going to do that because I want to make sure that I can separate these whoops that didn't go where it's supposed to go let me get another one right like that okay so now I'm going to take off the little pieces of paper on the glue dots very carefully, not to get it stuck on my finger, like that. And then I'm going to put my bow on like right here, and I'm going to press the bow down with my finger at the center, and then I'm going to take this part of the ribbon and pull it down a little bit and stick it where I put that glue dot so that those glue dots hold the pieces of the bow where they need to be like that. How cute is that? Okay, now the next thing we have to do is we have to adhere it. So I'm going to put some tear tape on the back. Where this little heart is, I'm gonna put it on the back like this. Now what you wanna do is you wanna put it so that it's not at the very, very edge. You don't want it at the very edge because that would stick out too much. You don't want that. So I'm gonna take these little pieces off like this easy peasy whoops sometimes you have to make sure that it's stuck down because then you just want to get low whoops there we go and then one more piece right here I like to make sure you know I sometimes I'm very stingy about the amount of adhesive I use but on this I want to make sure that this thing is going to stick nicely all right so now I'm going to bring my base of the, my favor back and I'm going to put this piece with this where the tear tape is on the back side not on the front side on the back side and in order to do that i want to take this here is the back side here is the piece with the sticky tape and i want to make sure that i get it not right at the fold you don't want it right at the fold just a smidgen below the fold just like that see that and then once i've got it there then i press 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 and voila that part is done. We're almost done. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to take your Hershey Kiss. Now these, my dear sister got at Walmart. You can get these at Walmart. Um, these are the 1.45 ounce size. They're not the tiny little kisses and they're not the Gigunda Kisses. They are in between. They are a very nice size. And um, last year, I think I had almost 300 of them. I can't even remember I, because that's how many favors we did last year. And a lot of people wanted to do favors again this year. So that's why we are. So anyway, here is your favorite. It's a nice piece of chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. And I'm going to take some uh, tear tape and I'm going to put two pieces of it on the bottom, just like this. And then once again, I'm going to take this um, piece of tear tape right off like this and like this like that and then I'm going to open it up hold my kiss my kiss at the top and I'm going to center it on the middle piece of the red cardstock right here just like this and I'm going to press it from the bottom so that I know that tear tape is sticking very nicely to this piece of red cardstock there we go now we're almost done one last thing we have to do is we have to secure the cover um, to the, the the flat part rather to the base of the little triangle and in order to do that I took a, a velcro and I cut the velcro into four little sections now the thing is you it's attached on both sides so the the adhesive is being protected so what you're going to do is you're just going to take off one side like this like this okay well not like that Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to happen. Wait a minute. Let's see. This is the end of a strip. And I probably should have gotten a bigger strip. But let's see if I can finagle this and get this off. I think you know what I'm going to do here. Did that work? No, it didn't. Oh. oh, for heaven's sakes. Let's see where my other Velcro pieces are. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to show you this because this is a very easy way to do this. But why is this not working? I can't get this off. That's how sticky this is. Wait a minute. All right. So the point is, 
All right, if I can't get this off this time, I'm going to just show you. Ugh. All right, well, all right. So pretend I took this piece of sticky off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put that piece of sticky right here. And then you're going to take this piece of cellophane off. And then, hi, Nancy. Thank you for joining in. Glad you could join us. It's okay that you're late. And then you just fold it down and press it. And voila. I'm going to show you on my sample. So there it is. It's stuck to the bottom like such and then you can open it up like that so there you go like just like that how stinking cute is that perfect isn't that adorable so if you want these hi terry thanks for joining in i'm glad you joined in today too yay okay so you can either i can make these for you or you can um come and get all of the supplies and you can assemble it yourself um, I did have a little um, hat here, which I can't find the rest of those. But anyway, I do have these um, enamel hats somewhere. Um, but, and yes, I would put one of those on as well. But look at how cute those are. So, my friends, porch pickups for this week are, here we go. Let's show you once again. All right, here is this beautiful dragonfly card like such. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful note card. That's one. Valentine card here. Beautiful. I love it. And my little favors. Stinking cute. Cute, cute, cute. And there's that Hershey kiss inside. I think it's really sweet. By the way, this is from uh, Julie Gilson. If you know Julie Gilson, she's an incredible demonstrator. She lives in Wisconsin, I think Wisconsin. And she shares everything all the time. She's phenomenal. And um, so she did that last year, and I copied it and made, like I said, I think we eventually ended up making over 300 of those favors. And I've had a lot of people ask if we could do it again this year. So there we go. So, my friends, that's it. So a few things. Don't forget, this is celebration. Now, again, cel um Yes, you could. Uh, could you fit a gift card inside this, Terry wants to know. Um, I think you might be able to. Uh, or you could make it a little bit, you could make this a little bit taller. You could make this piece, your base piece, let me show you. This piece you could make taller, longer, and you would be able to fit a uh, gift card inside, like right here. Yes, you could. Great idea, Terry. Yeah, there you go. So, um, so yeah, celebration. Now, remember, again, this year Stampin' Up! has done celebration uh, in a different format. It's just through the end of February. But then again, in July, we're going to have another celebration experience. So that's kind of fun. We have one now at the beginning of the year and one at the middle of the year. So don't forget, celebration until the end of February. Any $50 order, you get uh, a free celebration item from the celebration catalog. Hopefully, everybody has their catalogs. I know that we've had problems. Here is the celebration catalog. Um, and then here is the, the brand new mini catalog. Hopefully you've got those. If you haven't, let me know. I know that the mail has been unfortunately very slow. I still have a Christmas present coming from Amazon that hasn't come, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, okay, friends, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to take care of you. I hope you have a great weekend. Be safe. Wear your mask. Stay isolated. Have fun in whatever way you can safely. And I will see you next Friday. Oh, I forgot. Monday night at 6 o'clock, I'm going to do a Zoom class on this month's really cute paper pumpkin kit. And hopefully... I will have my new paper pumpkin kit by Monday so I can show everybody um, that as well. But Monday at 6 o'clock. So if you want to be invited to that Zoom class, please zip me a text or email and I'll send you the Zoom link. I will put it on my Facebook page um, later on today. So you're invited to come on Monday night at 6 o'clock to do a paper pumpkin kit with me. Um, and you don't have to do the one uh, I'm doing. You can do whatever you want. Or you can do whatever stamping you want. It'll just be fun to have a bunch of people on. All right, my friends. Okay. Uh, have a great weekend again. Um, I'm glad you all joined me. Stay safe. Stay warm. And uh, Sandy, you don't have to stay warm because you are in a warm climate. Lucky you. Uh, but we'll see you all next Friday. Thank you very much. Namaste, my friends. I love you all. Bye.